Will this feeling last forever? Will I ever get over this feeling? Will I ever get through this feeling? Will it last forever? Now, of course, you don't ask this question when you're feeling happy, do you? No, that question doesn't bubble up when you're feeling joy, inner peace, euphoria, when you're so high on MDMA and you're hugging everybody. Not even a drug can have a feeling last forever. But no, when do you really ask the question? You ask the question when you're not really satisfied with your life. When depression comes, uncertainty arises, when worry traps us, when we're in that dark pit, when our heart is torn open, when we lose someone that we love, we can't bear thoughts any longer, when we go to bed sad, because we know that we're going to wake up even worse. When just the thought of tomorrow is just as scary as the feeling right now. But will it last forever? Can you tell I've been through depression? Can you tell? <laughs> yeah, those days where you go to bed... And you just dread getting up the next day. You just dread it. You've predicted how you're going to feel already, right? Will this feeling last forever? Scott, will this feeling last forever? Since 2013, you know, uploading content, the amount of emails and comments that I've received, the thousands that end with, well, when will I get over this? Will it last forever? When will I be happy again? Oh, yeah, you're looking for an answer. Well, the answer is no. The answer is no. The answer is no. The real answer, not the one that you're thinking of, not yes. Will this feeling last forever? The answer is no. I'm not going to give you a timeline. And you don't have to give yourself a timeline either. But the truth is, the law of nature suggests that the feeling that you're feeling, whatever it is right now, won't last forever. You could have been feeling great. You turn on this podcast. Now I'm bringing you down. Sorry. But now that you're down, <laughs> know that that feeling won't last forever. And if you're still happy and peppy and feeling good just by the voice of Scott St. Maria in your bedroom, car, family room, living room, coming out your Google home, baby. Well, if you're feeling happy, that won't last forever either, sucka. So enjoy it while it lasts. No emotion, no feeling lasts forever. You're, you're going to get over it. I promise you that. I promise you. Oh my God, from the bottom of my heart, I promise you. Oh, if you're dealing with some tough times. In that previous episode, I told you that everything's going to be okay, right? The one right before this. I told you that it's okay to feel how you feel, right? Now, in this episode, I'm telling you that the feeling won't last forever. That I've said, I, I said this before, it's not an on and off switch, my friends. It's a dimmer switch. The brightness comes so subtly without you maybe even noticing it. But you just go through day by day with the feelings that you feel. And eventually, you're going to push through. Eventually, you're going to go through it. It won't last forever but as i've said before you may as well play in the rain while you're there you may as well feel what you feel while you're in it because you know you're going to get through it anyways so why not feel what you feel right now while it's impermanent anyways oh man the amount of times someone's asked me that the amount of times I've asked myself that. 
The answer is always the same at the beginning. We always convince ourselves that yes, the past was the past. I got through it then, but this is different now. But I have enough knowledge now, enough past experience and pain behind me that I can make a solid case out of probability that I'm going to get through it again. Because 100% of the time in my past, I got through it. So I'm going to get through it again. You're going to get through it again. The feeling won't last forever. The feeling won't last forever. Now, if it keeps coming back up in your life and these things keep bringing you down and depression is experienced more often than not, well, if you stay the same person, if you haven't adopted new tools, fostered new friendships and relationships, worked on you for a bit, had some new hobbies, some creative outlets of and means of expression, well, how can you expect really to change? How can you expect the feeling not to come as often if you're the same as you have always been? I'm not bringing you down. I just want you to think about that for a bit. The only reason I could get off antidepressants after all those years is because I was a different person now than I was then. Ding, 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 ding. Bingo, bango, bongo, baby. So you want to get through this. Oh, you're going to. I know you are. I know you are. I promise you that. But depression, for no reason, anxiety that comes out of the blue, we can manage these things. We can overcome these things. But you need to be willing to become a different person than you were and than you are. I had to become a dis different person. I had to adopt new values. I had to create new routines. I had to eat differently. I had to think differently. I had to do things differently. I had to see the world differently. I had to see myself differently. I had to see other people differently. For the moment. It's okay to feel how you feel. And I know you're going to pull through this. The feeling won't last forever. And once you're through this, well, you can send me an email and say, Scott, you were right. That'd be nice. I'm going to be right. I know I'm right here. You're going to get through it. You just wait. You just wait. But once you're through it, I want you to think about that second thing I said. How different are you than you in the past who was experiencing these things? A lot of us are pretty similar. How can we expect our feelings to change when our lives haven't changed, our thoughts haven't changed, our habits haven't changed, and our lives change when our habits change? So when are you changing those bad habits? That's what I want you to ask yourself once you're through this tough time. For now, just get through it. And when you're through it, you send me an email and you say, Scott, you were right. All right, here's a gift. Send me some chocolate. I prefer dark chocolate. I have a little square now and then. 70% cocoa. Send it my way. All right? You're going to do just fine. Now, if you want to work on those habits, if you want to act a little differently, if you want to change who you are so these things don't become so debilitating in the future, remember the only way I got off antidepressants is because I was different now than I was then when I got on them. If you want to be different, if you want to challenge yourself, if you want me to be your biggest fan through this, go to conqueranxietywithscott.com. I'd love to have a chat with you. I'd love to see if we could work together in some way, if I could help you out in any way. Well, we can have this discovery call and we can see if we're a good fit together. You know, I, I, I think what I do is, it comes from the purest part of my heart, man. It's through empathy because I've been there. It's through understanding because I still get there. I still go through tough times just like you, right? It's through compassion. If you want to have a heart-to-heart -heart and a discussion and, and see if I can genuinely help you, the link's in the description, conqueranxietywithscott.com, and uh, we can set up a chat. I've been chatting with people the last, well, years, but really the last month or so since I've made my coaching public, and my goodness, does that just, there's no contest between speaking to a microphone through your speakers or speaking into a camera lens to YouTube. 
to speak with people one on one, create a plan for people, support them, help them lovingly. It's just the most beautiful thing that uh, I've had the pleasure and the privilege, I should say, of of doing. It's um, it's what I want to spend the rest of my life doing. Actually, it's a pretty crazy feeling at that one. <laughs> You're gonna get through it. You really are. Will this feeling last forever? Nope. Just keep on going, minute by minute, breath by breath, day by day. You got this, and I hope to see you on that phone call. Bye-bye.